Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. This is issue 5 of the Transformers. Build your own step-by-step -step Transformers Optimus Prime. Buy it, of course, Fan Home. And you can check out fanhome.com for details on how to pick this up yourself. Or, of course, one of the other very awesome subscription service. Build your own figure, vehicles, etc, etc that they do. As always, the magazine comes absolutely stacked full of Transformers information from historical stuff through to kind of character profiles, animation stuff, toy stuff, retro stuff. It's just an encyclopedia of Transformer information. And of course, at the back, it's got a step-by-step -step build guide for this particular issue. And this is really exciting because there's something included in this issue that I did not realize was included. Now we know that there are lights in the helmet, in the head. We know that Optimus's um, eyes light up, but I did not realize that there were more electronics in the build. And as you can see here, in this issue, we have got our first additional light. We've got another wire, no idea where it's gonna go yet, no idea what it's gonna plug into but we have another wire with lights on the end here. And I'm guessing they're probably like headlights or headlamps or something like that, but this is very exciting. It means that the model is gonna have more features than I originally anticipated, which makes me very excited. And because of course it is quite symmetrical, it's not just gonna be a standalone light, we're gonna get more further down the line. So hopefully in a future issue, we're gonna see kind of where this wire goes and it might give us a hint to how many additional kind of lights and things there are um, involved. Now, a question I've been asked so many times is, does this model transform? The very simple answer is no. It is not a transforming model, but the detail levels on it are second to none. And I think for something of this size, I would much rather have the level of detail that Fan Homer provided here than the ability to transform. It, you just couldn't have the two in the same place. It would either be the level of detail or a transforming feature. And considering this is gonna go on a display in my collection, I much would rather have the level of detail rather than the ability to transform. And the fact that this has got more electronics to it make it even sweeter, make it even better. Now I have done a video for every single issue so you can follow along issue by issue to see the build kind of come together and I think at the end or halfway through or something I might do kind of a big a, uh, a big kind of time lapse video and kind of see if I can squeeze the entire build into like a, a couple of minutes or something but overall this has been a very pleasurable build indeed. Now these kind of subscription service are ideal for people that like the kind of model kits. There's lots of fiddly parts and there's a real sense of kind of achievement once you've kind of finished a particular part and kind of start seeing that stuff come together. I mean, this is the torso of Optimus Prime and this has taken oh, probably about 10 or 11 issues so far to just build this part that you see in my hand. But it is quite size, sizable. It is, it is a large piece of equipment and I think the overall figure is going to be a lot bigger than I originally anticipated. They do give you the measurements on the website, but... I think the bulkiness of it is going to be much bigger than I actually anticipated and I cannot wait to see how gigantic it looks displayed on a shelf and I'm just going to have to think of a really good way of displaying this because it is without a doubt going to be a centerpiece of anyone's collection. Now it is pricey, it is time consuming but I think the end payoff is definitely going to be worth it because Every single issue I'm impressed, and this issue in particular, finding out that there's more electronics is very exciting. I think the only thing that's gonna be more exciting about that is finding out where that wire goes so that I can kind of see how many additional electronics there are gonna be. Now we've got two additional lights here for this particular issue, so I think there's probably gonna be another two on the other side where the others are gonna go. If there are any others, who knows? I mean, it could just be these two, but I've got a feeling there might be a few more. Anyway, do check out my channel for the rest of the videos and of course like, share, subscribe and all of those things and check out fanhome.com for all of the information on how to pick up your own uh, build step by step, build your own Transformers Optimus Prime and of course some of the other very awesome subscription services that Fanhome provide. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.